welcome or welcome back. It's your Tara Brianne. Make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. Join the fam. Y'all already see the title and the intro. We are doing some jumbo braids today on freshly washed and blow dried hair. Look at how thick my hair is. Period. This is your sign to go and get you some collagen. Because, girl, my hair has been growing so much. But I'm only going to be using two products today. This is the favorite, all-time favorite hair that I always use. And I'm going to be using the Edge Booster instead of Shine and Jam because that's what we had. So, that's what we got to work with. So, um, this video is really going to focus on um, sections and how many braids I do. Because when you do a jumbo style like this, it's easy to accidentally make your hair look too skimp or too thick. So... Right now, I'm just sectioning my hair out. I'm going to show you guys how I do each row in each section so you guys can follow along at home. Um, but yes, my handy dandy mirror, this always helps me when it comes to parting. My parts don't be perfect, but it gets the job done, okay? So first things first, I'm going to mow the roots of my hair so everything is nice and slick. And once I comb all that through my hair, I split my hair into threes and I braid down as normal. Um, I really don't know exactly how to explain how I insert the hair and whatnot, but just follow the tutorial as best as you possibly can. And if you have any further questions, comment them down below. So as you can see, I'm doing pretty big sections with my real hair and then I'm adding in like medium sized sections of the braiding hair as I go. It's really important to take your time. Make sure that you add your edge control or jam to your natural hair so it can blend in with the extensions. And just take your time when it comes to braiding because you want everything to be super neat, super nice, super slick. Feel me? Especially when it comes to jumbo braids. They can get real bulky and real messy real quick and we don't want that and y'all please disregard how messed up my nails are i'm going to do them literally the same day so you're going to see my nails change at the end of the video but yeah not too much on the nails so not too much This edge control was my best friend, okay, because recently I cut my ends, so low-key, I was kind of having a blunt cut. Oh, and hold on, this part is real important. I like to make sure that um, the hair that I add towards the end is a little bit longer on one side because that helps with the length. Just want to put that out there. If you've seen any of my braiding tutorials, you know this already. Um, if you want a very like detailed tutorial, just go throughout my channel. I have other videos, but yeah, that edge control helped me so much when it came to hiding my natural hair because um, I low-key have a blunt cut right now and you can't see none of the hair poking out of the braid, period. So one down, couple more to go. So yeah, let me really explain what I'm doing on this section. Um, it's really helpful to use your edge brush instead of dipping your fingers into the edge control each time because that just helps you not be as messy. And I like to brush and comb that throughout my roots really, really good so my hair is nice and sleek and so I don't have any flyaways. And then I split it into three sections and I braid it down like six times because I want my braid to gradually get thicker. I don't like bulky braids. Like these, these are literally knotless jumbo braids. I don't want any knots. And then I put the hair through my um, index finger and I pick it up and I make sure to put some jam or edge control, whatever you want to call it, on my hair so it blends in from jump. And then I just continue to do the same thing. So like I said earlier, I put three pieces of hair in when I'm initially braiding and then I just add going down where I see fit. Um, I don't really do it in a particular way. I just do it to make sure that my braid is thick and juicy to my liking so it's all about preference. 
So yeah, I don't want to wrap y'all up too much. I said my piece. I'll probably jump in here and there to give y'all a little bit more information. But other than that, I'm going to let y'all listen to the music and catch a vibe. And remember I told y'all this video is going to focus on the sections and the parting. So the first part in the back is only two braids. And then I did a row above my ear, right above that. Um, and I think I put six braids in total on that row, three on each side. So it can add to the fullness and the length. So this is what we have so far. And then I did that same row again. Um, and I think, if I'm not mistaken, I did six more braids over top of that yep i did six more and then i think the last row that i'm going to do is just the middle section and i did three on each side so again six braids in total so in total i have 20 braids boom So yeah, my last step is to remember that you should do your sections on your real hair big, but you need to add in like medium to small sections of hair just because that gives it the knotless look and that knotless effect and your end result is going to be nice and sleek and it won't be bulky. Um, And yeah, in terms of magnets. I sleep with a big bonnet. That's it. That's all. Whenever I sleep with a scarf with my braids, it tends to fall off. Um, and I also sleep on satin or silk pillowcases. So, yeah. Remember, if you have any specific questions, to leave them in the comment section down below. Because I would love to answer them for you guys. But yeah, I'm on my last break and this is what it's giving. I ended up not closing this video out because my man came over, period. So I had to host and we went out later that night. Um, but these braids end up looking so cute. Nice, easy, protective style. Only took me like four hours to do for a girl. So yeah, I'll see y'all in my next one. Bye, mamas. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um.